Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. Look at this question about JavaScript. You know how I love JavaScript, all of you that are like, you know, watching the videos. Maybe you saw my, my blog post way back in the day of why JavaScript is dead. <laughs> oh gosh, sometimes you, you, you try and, you know, and swing and try to hit the ball and you just, you, you whiff so hard that you fall down and you break your neck. <laughs> That's what I did with that blog post. But hey, it got a lot of traction. I got a lot of traffic from it. But uh, yeah, I was, I was a little bit wrong about JavaScript. I don't know, I still think JavaScript will eventually die. <laughs> How's that for prediction? Something will eventually die. There we go. But no, I, I you know, JavaScript has improved a little bit and stuff and it, it's definitely growing. And yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about JavaScript right now. I haven't, I haven't written enough JavaScript code lately to, to really have any feels about that. I, I like the changes that they've made with the language of the ES6. Okay, the, that's, I'm, I'm still not, you know, 100% on the language, but it's all right. We can still be friends, you know, whichever side of the fence you're on. Let, let's get to the question here. So what's the deal, JavaScript? John, thanks for answering the other questions I've had. Now, if JavaScript is so good, how come more companies aren't switching their stack to JavaScript? Most full stack jobs I'm looking at want Java stack or C sharp ASP.NET. I feel like startups are the only ones looking for full stack JavaScript developers. And what do you think of the mean stack? Personally, I think it's confusing and I don't like Angular. And I was thinking of doing something a bit different by making my stack React.js, Node.js, Flux, and Mongo. If JavaScript is so good, how come there aren't that many jobs looking for full stack JavaScript compared to C Sharp, ASP.NET, or the Java stack, Spring, MVC, etc. Thoughts. So I do have a couple of thoughts on this. I think that JavaScript is not so good, right, for uh, the full stack. I, I mean, and you know, it's not bad, right? I mean, there's, I don't know, here's the thing. Okay, before I, before I get into trouble here and everyone just cries, right? Because I'm gonna offend someone. It's fine, I, you know, I don't care, but all the shit is good at this point, right? So every single, you know, framework and stack an option is actually pretty good at this point. We've had a lot of time to develop these things, right? I mean, you can develop an awesome Node.js app, right? And use the full JavaScript stack and MongoDB and and uh, what React is freaking awesome, right? That's it, that, it's pretty awesome stuff, okay? Same thing on the Java side, you know, Java's come along and okay, maybe Java's not quite as awesome, but it's it's solid and stable and robust. It has some qualities. And C Sharp is definitely awesome. C Sharp, there's a ton of awesome stuff you can do with that and with MVC and now C Sharp is basically on every platform. So you know, everything is, is kind of awesome. There's nothing that really sucks. But the thing is like for bigger companies, for corporations, they're, they're, they're slow to move. This is kind of the point of what I wanted to make with this video is that you just have to understand, you're right in your perception that startups are probably gonna be more on the bleeding edge and cutting edge of technology, right? You, you know, some of the things that you take for granted, right, if you're staying up to date on technology is not the way the rest of the world and the corporate environment works. They don't just, you know, they're not keeping up with all this stuff. They're doing the tried and true, they're supporting like see code so you're gonna see a lot more in the corporate environment and bigger companies C sharp Java okay and you're and you and you're gonna see more stable languages you're not gonna see rust you're not gonna see the whole JavaScript and node right so that's that's really just something to keep in mind especially for you developers out there that are thinking about you know some of the pros and cons of working for an older company or a bigger company a corporation versus a startup and something like that if you want to be on the cutting edge of technology you're going to have to probably be with a startup now there are some corporations that break this mold and 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 do you know stay on the cutting edge the bleeding edge but for the most part no and in fact you know, I worked in corporate environments for a good enough amount of time. You can watch my series on on my career. I got to finish that up sometime, by the way. But you know, I've got a, like a seven-part series on on my job. And 
you know, I worked for companies like HP and, and sometimes you'd be like two operating systems behind. I mean, seriously, like you think you're like, you know, chomping at the bit saying, I want to write some Node.js code. Imagine what it's like when you're like, uh, you know, you're using like Windows 95, right? And it's like uh, where you're, everyone else is at XP and you're like, are you serious, right? We're going to go back to the, like, we're, can we not upgrade the operating system, right? Uh, there's, there's a lot of that at the corporate level, right? Or, or old version, you know, I remember having, being forced to use ASP.NET or not ASP.NET, sorry, regular ASP, classic ASP when ASP.NET was out. And I was just, I, I was, it was driving me nuts. I was like, are you, whoa, are you kidding me? Seriously, like we're not gonna use the .NET stuff? No, 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 we're gonna do it in ASP. So I'm writing new code in ASP, like when ASP.NET is out, right, okay? So, they, so that's just, that's how it is, right? You just gotta understand it in some corporate environment. So it's just gonna be behind. And I think that's, that's really the reflection of it. I don't know what's gonna happen in the future with, you know, I feel like we, we just got too many technologies, too many frameworks, too much stuff right now, and we need to consolidate, right? We, we're doing, we're not really innovating as much anymore, and that's a problem because we're, we're just like rehashing the same old shit in, in different forms, and that, it, it, how much value is that really adding right it, it's making things more complicated but it's not it's okay I'm okay with making things complicated when it adds value but when it stops adding value and people are just creating their own versions and frameworks and stuff then then I have to sigh like that right and so I think we've kind of gotten there and it, it's unfortunate so I don't know what's gonna happen with, with the whole thing I imagine that you know in four or five years if if Node and JavaScript development starts to, or continues, that then you'll start to see it spill over into more of the mainstream, right? So the, the mainstream always takes a good five to 10 years, you know, probably five years in most cases for it to catch up with the cutting edge and the bleeding edge. And, you know, and, and for some, you know, to some degree, it's for good reason, right? Think about this, how much stuff dies off in three years, right? Yeah, a lot. So you, <laughs> that's the thing is, right? You don't necessarily want to invest, especially if you're investing a lot of money in training and technology into tools that are going to die off or technologies, you know, frameworks, languages, any of that stuff. So anyway, I think that mostly answers your question. I think what your your plan, you know, as far as I know about JavaScript and the, the stacks that your stack sounds fine to me. I, I think mean is fine. I, I hadn't had a problem with it, but I, I am a big fan of React.js and I, I think Flux is, is pretty pretty cool as well. You know, I think that, that can work out just fine. So anyway, I, I hope that answers your question. If you have a question for me, you can always email me at john at simpleprogram.com. And if you like this video if you want to hear me talk about JavaScript because I just love to talk about JavaScript you got to click the subscribe button that's what you got to do <laughs> all right click it I'll talk to you next time take care